there are some uh, investigational biomarker panels that are being looked at by uh, some laboratory testing companies. Uh, most of those panels are looking at markers that are associated with bacterial products. Um, I think we're going to continue to evolve our understanding of, let's, let's just focus on irritable bowel syndrome, of uh, the, the heterogeneous nature of the condition. You know, IBS is a label based on symptoms that people get, but its etiology or its cause is not the same for every patient. So I think we're really starting to realize that this is a very heterogeneous disorder that because it causes very similar symptoms gets the label irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, but for individual patients, you really have to tease out the, the individual causes, and there's a lot of overlap probably between those causes. So I do think eventually we may get a uh, diagnostic panel or biomarker uh, panel that will allow us to separate out the inflammatory bowel disease, the colon cancers. Um, you know, this for many people is still a diagnosis of exclusion. So we put our patients through a lot of testing. At the end of the day, when we don't really find much abnormal, we say, well, you must have irritable bowel syndrome. And, you know, in, in some ways that's reassuring to the patient, but in other ways, I think it can engender some, some doubt and some anxiety as well. Uh, so we need to continue to move forward in terms of how to make a, or ways of making a positive diagnosis of this condition. But I do, th I do see those, those types of approaches uh, coming, to the, coming to a head in the, in the future.